Welcome to Slug Disco vlog number seven. Number seven means that it's been a full year since I started these vlogs, so that's cause for celebration. <laughs> that, that was not worth giving Jeff Bezos three pounds for. <sighs> Good. Now, normal service can resume as, uh, as much as it ever did. For Empires of the Undergrowth this month, we've got the winners of the map contest that we ran a short while ago to discuss. We have two of those, as well as some updates about where we are with Tier 5, and some more about the achievements that will soon be added to the game, and how we might need your help testing them out. Yet to be decided, more in a short while. But before we get to the Empire stuff, it's time to pass over to Dan, our Product Marketing Manager, who's going to discuss the other publishing projects that we have, with a particular emphasis on Horticula this time round. Cheers, Mike. So we've definitely been busy since the last vlog with a trip to Cologne and Gamescom and Tokyo for Tokyo Game Show. At Tokyo Game Show, we showcased Ecosystem, which was chosen for the Sense of Wonder Night 2023, which was a great honor to be chosen for. We also showcased Horticular and Adapt while we were over there because, you know, if you're going all that way, why not? And because of this, uh, all three of these games now have Japanese localization available now in the game. Uh, with Ecosystem, that's the demo and the main game. Obviously, Horticular and Adapt just have demos out, but they have Japanese translations in them as well. Speaking of Horticular, we're currently taking part in Steam Next Fest, and to celebrate our inclusion in Next Fest, we have a new demo update out, which uh, has a large range of quality of life features as well as bug fixes. So no new like flowers or plants or creatures, but just like really focusing on, on the core mechanics. But like seriously, just look at these patch notes. I think Robert deserves a pat on the back for the kind of work that he managed to cram in just before the uh, demo update went out for Nextfest. And as well as the demo update, we also debuted our brand new gameplay trailer for Horticular, which you can find in full in the link in the description. But you know, some of it's on screen now for you to put into your eyeballs. That was a weird sentence. But yeah, that's it from me for this vlog. Back to you, Mike. As always, excellent work, Dan. Thank you very much for that summary. Seriously, give that updated Horticula demo a go. So much content for a demo, you wouldn't believe it. Anyway, time for the Empire stuff. So let's talk first about the map contest which concluded recently. Thank you everyone for the many entries that we whittled down to seven finalists for the Billy Billy part of the competition and 22 finalists for the YouTube part. And our winners were finally announced as Imprisoned from Billy Billy and Straw Clutch. Our level designer John is already hard at work putting these levels into the game. And in fact, we've got some work in progress shots to show you. There you go, you can see uh, Imprisoned there with the tide lock mechanism, which will periodically, as the uh, water level changes, put the four colonies into direct conflict with each other. Whereas for the rest of the time in the map, there's a much longer route to get to any other colonies. Also, here's Straw Clutch, which has, in its skirmish form at least, uh, plenty of aphid plants in the centre, uh, which will cause direct conflict and lots of back and forth between the colonies. So we're looking forward to seeing how these maps play, and we're looking forward to getting them both out to you as soon as we can. John has also been recording a few videos while he's doing this process, so hopefully in the fairly near future we'll have those edited up and put up for you, so you can uh, see what he was getting up to there. Obviously the question that everyone always has is how are we doing with tier 5 or what is the release date for tier 5? As usual I can't give you the exact details of when tier 5 will be done but I can give a short update about how we're doing. Most of the commits that come into the source control now are to do with tier 5. Liam and Matt and uh, Dan C in particular have been doing plenty of work there. The environment art is starting to come in thick and fast. Uh, Matt's working on more creatures. Liam's been working on 5-2. In fact, he's having to stop for a while while he waits for some creature work to be done so he can continue testing and balancing. As far as the official reveal for the setting and species for Tier 5 goes, we're still waiting for a definite timescale to formulate in our minds because we will be, of course, leading up to full release at that point. It's a little different this time. The team is quite keen to do a much more controlled build-up to the marketing material that we release this time round. But when the time comes, there will be plenty of it. And on a daily basis at the moment, there's always something really exciting being discussed in our internal discussions. And I say this quite a lot, but it's absolutely true. No one is more desperate to get the word out there than we are. As always though, you're a fantastic bunch. I love my job as the community manager because of you and your kind patience means the world to us. I mean that. So with the newsletter that will appear next month, that will be November, we are due an update of the roadmap. I did the previous one back in May 
and lots of it has been fulfilled already. We did okay, so I'll be expanding on some of the compressed parts again, zooming in as it were on the parts that need more detail, as we get closer to full release. With any luck there will have been an update at that point to cross off one or two other bits here. Uh, no promises on that, but we'll see how we do. But definitely look forward to that in the newsletter next month. With that update that I just mentioned, should be coming a whole bunch of new achievements to the game. I showed a few of them in last month's newsletter. Here's a few more for the sake of the vlog. As I mentioned in the introduction, there's a good chance that we might want some help testing some of these achievements. We've had things with our internal testing group for a while, but we could probably do with a bit of wider feedback on that before we set everything live for everyone. Keep an eye on our socials and particularly on Steam for information about when this might be happening. So just to make sure everyone's fully informed, uh, the achievement testing build wouldn't actually trigger the achievements on Steam. Uh, you'd use the in-game achievement tracker and uh, end screens to check if you'd hit the conditions for triggering an achievement. But if that happens, we will let everyone know. I am coming back. And I am so very hungry. Since we are in the month of October, I'm sure some of you are aware of my tradition of trying to beat the Hungry Spider level precisely once a year. Uh, on Halloween, or as close to Halloween as is convenient for me, and I like to do that as a live stream. The problem is that I don't really have a huge incentive to be a gigantic tryhard, because if I fail, then so what? I can just try again next year, it's more content. But I thought this year I might up the stakes. How about I do something along the lines of, if I fail the Hungry Spider, I do the one chip challenge, any one of those ridiculously high Scoville rating hot chips, uh, and keep the camera on me for at least five minutes, something like that, just to give myself some actual consequences for failing. What do people do when they do something like this? They're, how about a like goal? If we hit 500 likes on this video, then at the end of the month when I do my Hungry Spider live stream, I will do the one chip challenge if I fail. <laughs> and there we go. Thank you for joining me for this anniversary edition of the Slug Disco vlog. Keep your eyes peeled for that newsletter next month that will include the Empires of the Undergrowth roadmap update. Also keep a weather eye on the horizon for that one chip challenge at the end of this month with the Hungry Spider stream. Thank you for watching for a whole year. I genuinely mean it when I say my job is fantastic because of you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Ah, should I have a few bloopers on that one? As well as, as well as some updates on what we're, as well as, as well as, as well as some update, as well as some updates about, and straw clutch for the YouTube, and straw, and straw clutch for the YouTube, we will be leaving early access, we will, I can't fake cry. We've got some artwork, uh, commit, we've got some artwork in the work. Keep your eyes peeled for that newsletter that will include the Empires of the Undergrowth.